Baba Vakian for the liberation of black people and the emancipation of all humanity. In the Constitution for the New Socialist Republic in North America, authored by B.A., a sweeping vision and a concrete blueprint for that radically different and much better system is set forth. And the principles and means for finally putting an end at long last to the oppression of black people is a major part of that constitution. This year, 2020, BA has written as many as 30 articles in which this decisive question, the oppression and the struggle for the liberation of black people is a recurring subject. Why is this terror and murder necessary for this system in order to ensure its order and its ongoing functioning? The answer is that from the beginning of this country, white supremacy has been poured into the foundation and built into the institutions and the ongoing functioning of this system. Specifically with regard to black people, the centuries of oppression they have suffered from slavery days to the days of Jim Crow segregation and Ku Klux Klan terror, to the present time with the continuing systematic discrimination against black people in every part of society, employment, housing, education, health care, and on and on. All this has resulted in a situation where masses of black people today, and in particular youth, have been robbed of a means for a decent life with many maintained in conditions of desperate poverty and deprivation. In the speeches and writings of B.A. overall, there is not only powerful, penetrating exposure and uncompromising condemnation of brutal and murderous oppression, but even more importantly, there is scientific analysis of how all this is rooted in this system of capitalism imperialism and of the need the possibility, and the means for making revolution to overthrow this system and finally put an end to all the outrageous and unnecessary suffering that the masses of humanity are continually subjected to under this system. White supremacy and capitalism, they have been completely interwoven and tightly stitched together through the whole development of this country down to today. To attempt to really put an end to white supremacy while maintaining the system of capitalism would tear the entire fabric of the country apart. White supremacy and capitalism. It is not possible to overcome and finally abolish the one without overthrowing and finally abolishing the other. It is a very precious thing for the oppressed of the earth when they have a leader whose life is dedicated to their emancipation and who has the determination and the scientific method developed over decades to point the way and continue to carve out the path to achieving that emancipation. B.A. is such a leader. Uh, 200 of us volunteered to go to D.C. to turn it upside down politically to defend Baba Vake and the Mao Zedong defenders. And I, and I had a, you know, we had a, 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 a talk, you know. He just came up and he approached me. You know, here he is. You know, he's a world-class leader. He just came up and approached me. And he started, like, talking to me about some of the things that we were st studying at that time, which we were studying about the, how, the, how this, the second, inter second communist international, how it collapsed in the face of big challenges, which was World War I at that time. And it was only Lenin who led, you know, the, like the masses, you know, to fight in the interests of, of humanity and stuff and to make revolution where everybody else was leading like the, they, they gave up on revolution and led the masses, you know, in the different like countries to fight each other in defense 
of the fucking imperialist fatherland and shit like this here. And he was just talking to me about that and some of the lessons that we should like draw and stuff like that. But he was so like genuine, so down to earth. And we was just like talking. It was like when you're talking to him, it was like talking to your best friend. That's what always like struck me about BA, you know? That's what, that struck me for every, every, whenever I, you know, engaged him and stuff, whether that was through like writing or whether that's through like talking to him like, uh, uh, directly and stuff. That's what's always struck me. And the other thing that's always struck me about like BA is go- getting, you know, always getting like to the heart, getting to the root of what the problem is. Getting to the, and that's the only way you can get to what the real solution is. You got to get to the heart, you got to get to the root of what this, sh- what, where it all stems from and stuff. And he had a, and he's developed a method and approach that enables him and it enables you and enables everybody else who take that up to be able to do that and stuff. So we can bring about the revolution to emancipate humanity. As emphasized in the article, Bob Avakian, a radically different leader, a whole new framework for human emancipation. As a revolutionary leader, B.A. also embodies this rare combination someone who has been able to develop scientific theory on a world-class level, while at the same time having a deep understanding of and visceral connection with the most oppressed, and a highly developed ability to break down complex theory and make it broadly accessible. If you want to eliminate a problem or an evil, you must get to the root of it. If you want to eliminate the oppression and miserable conditions of the masses of people in the world today, you have to dig down to the underlying foundation, the ground in which this oppression and misery is rooted and which continually gives rise to this oppression and suffering. You cannot get rid of a poisonous plant and create something healthy in its place just by pulling up the top of the plant. You have to pull it up from the roots and then grow something completely different and change the soil too. That is what a radical solution is. Radical means having to do with the root. This is why a real revolution is needed and this is what it's all about. 